In this episode, I'm gonna show you my rugby collection. Yes, it is growing, it's getting thick, right? How to build a solid RL collection with rugby's, your bread and butter rugby's. This is Dave Money, American Lairs. This is a conversation about building the dopest RL collection ever. Don't miss the conversation. Subscribe and hit the notification so you're not left out. Now, in this episode, I'm going to show you my rugby collection. Yes, it is growing, and I've been wanting to do this episode for a long time. And I'm finally able to. Before, it was just too soon. It was premature. But now it's time for a rugby episode. I'm going to show you the new, and I'm going to show you some of the stuff I've already had. Yeah, it's getting thick, right? And we're going to just have some fun and, and do what we love, which is appreciate um, clothes in general and Ralph Lauren more specifically. So let me start by popping one open. Okay, let's cut him open. And I appreciate y'all rocking with me. How y'all like that contest? You know, we just finished up the, uh, the, uh, the summer outfit competition, the RL face-off. Rugby number one. Ah, let me move over. I think it might be better if I, if I move over a little bit. Classic, let me throw it on a hanger. So y'all see, um, it's just blue and black. Give me a second to, give me a second to get it on the hanger. But you could tell from that sneak peek, it's not too busy which is kind of my trademark. I don't, I don't usually wear like an, an, an item that's too busy. The way I put the whole outfit together, it might have some detail and, 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 and some tricks, but each garment is usually kind of subdued for me. So this is rugby number one, and I can't tell if this is black or blue. It's, it's probably black, but you got the black and blue, and this collar is kind of um, it's, it's gray. I like this, man. It's nothing too much to it. But it's classic, and it's going to pair well with, um, with, with all your items, like your vest and everything. Let me, let me grab a vest real quick. So this is what I'm always talking about. So you got this vest, right? By the time you put it with, with, with the rugby, by the time you put it with the rugby, you know, they work, they work together to create details. Because you, you might have this collar popped a little bit. And then you got the red on the on the inside of the uh, jacket, and then you know, um, you know, this is one type of uh, I think nylon, and this is cotton. So my thing is, by the time you combine a few elements, you you're gonna get some things going on. So I don't I don't go hard to, to buy any one item that's that's too busy. But anyway, this is this is rugby number one, and I'm satisfied with this. I haven't tried it on obviously I just popped it but it's okay if it's not as slim as I usually like that's that's fine because um I can wear things under it see some items the items that fit closely you know those would be like undergarments while the ones that are a little looser um those can go over top of something pop pop another one open I gotta be careful. I have, I have um, accidentally cut items, I'm trying to get them out the package. Moment of truth. Ah, this one is a surprise, man. Y'all not gonna expect this from me. This from me. But like I said, man, I talk about flexibility sometimes, and with this one, I went ahead and stepped out of my usual box. Ah. First of all, this material is, is crazy. It's, it's cotton, but you know, um, depending on how um, the garment is processed or you know, washed or treated, it gives it a, a, a different texture, even like how it's woven. All of that gives it you know, different textures. Some are um, stiffer than others. This is, this is very soft. This one is a little stiff, and I, I like it. It, it, it. it has some body, but guess... Guess what's on this back? Check it out. Ha! You ain't expect to see me with a number six, did you? Well, again, man, flexibility. 
you you know I was eager to build the rugby collection. And when you're searching and you're trying to um, fulfill a quota, sometimes you gotta um you gotta do something you you wouldn't normally do. Now I ain't saying like go totally outside of your box, but sometimes you just gotta uh, consider things from a different perspective. You know, imagine um, imagine what you could do with it. What what could be? Let's look at the details. So we got the blue sleeve, but the cuff is like white or cream or whatever this is. And I like that sort of variation. It's not, it's not too much all in one. So we got a Griffin right here, um, NYC, nice stiff blue collar. Here. This rugby is bigger than I expected. For some, I don't know, for some reason I thought it would be, I thought it would be kind of small. Anyway, that's rugby two. Rugby number three. All right, careful not to ruin it. Ooh, this one is, I'm gonna save, I'm saving this one for last. Rugby number four has stepped in for rugby number three so we switched them let's cut this one open i'm doing good man i cut four open without without destroying them let me know if you guys have destroyed garments trying to cut them out the packaging moment of truth was it worth it ah ah i like this in fact i have um the blue version let me throw it on the hanger Real quick, I haven't inspected these closely yet, but they all seem to be in good condition, so I'm happy about that. But let's take a look at the green one. It's crazy wrinkled, but I like it. Um, I'm a fan of the quilted shoulders, and I like the contrast. I like the uh, the orange horse on uh on the green. That's strange for me. I never talk about the horses, do I? And obviously, the back is is quilt. quilt Quilted as well. The quilted quicker picker upper. Um, quick examination. No holes, no pills, no rips, no stains. Um, it's it's in good shape. So that was rugby number four became rugby number three. And I saved this one because I feel like this one is the heat. This is my favorite out of the four new joints. But but let's see, you know, once I unpack it. Um, will it live up to my expectations? Ah, I need sound effects. Now this is sweet, and it's it's custom fit, so I'm I'm happy about that. And I'm gonna tell y'all exactly what I like about the design. But um, aside from the design, I'm glad that this is custom fit. Cause when I saw it, when I saw the photos, I'm gonna show y'all this white um, the white stripe through the middle. If you notice, most or all, all the stripes are um, are blue and red except for this one. So it's little stuff like that that just that just trips me. You know that's fire. You feel me? So I'm happy that I could play a design like this on a close fit. And if we go to the sleeves again, we got you know the sleeve is just it's just blue and red, but the cuff the cuff is that that um is that other color, right? That's dope. You don't need too much because you throw a vest over top of it or something and, and you in business. So those are the four new rugbies, but I want this episode to be like a rugby haul, uh, 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 um, an update of my rugby collection in general. Like I said, man, I've been wanting to build that rugby collection for so long and do an episode, but I didn't have enough heat yet. And the rugby's are so dope because they can be the bread and butter of your collection. You know what I mean? When you talk about having that RL look every day, when you got like a nice little arsenal, you got like a nice amount of rugby's tucked somewhere, you can always go RL. Because for me, and it, and it depends on what that RL flavor is for you, but for me, that quintessential RL is, you know, the bold colors with the little contrast, you know what I'm saying, and the, and the different textures. So the rugby, you got like two, three colors going on right here. And then you got the collar, which is, which is you know, a different color from the, 
the rest of the shirt usually. That's straight RL. So, you know what I mean? This is this 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 is a way to make it easy on yourself. You can execute every day. This is probably like 16 rugby's we could count. That's that's half a month. And when I get a whole month, we're gonna do a month of rugby episode. We got just enough time to run through all the rugby's. So let's do it. Let's do it to it. I'm excited. We saw number one, brand new addition to the family. We got the um the red, white, and blue rugby with the quilted shoulders. And ooh, the shoulders got that white stitching. That's lovely. Stainless, flawless. Welcome to the family. That's rugby one. Rugby two, the solid green joint. Can't sleep on the green. Again, we got quilted shoulders, a real nice clean collar. Um, no rips, no tears, no stains. A1, baby. Welcome to the family. We got this one. I almost slept on it, but I went ahead and jerseyed up. Went ahead and grabbed the number six. I just had to picture, I honestly, I had to picture certain people rocking this. Because some people do it similar to how you do it. So sometimes you could take a look at them. And my people's uh, Robin Van Crab actually had a, a, a similar rugby. And I went, sometimes I go and look at her photo of her rocking her rugby. Because, you know, she dressed you know, similar to how I dress. This is a nice one with the Griffin, the number six, the NYC, and in the blue collar instead of the um instead of your typical white collar. Also with the um, you know, the alternate color on the sleeve on the cuff. This classic joint right here. This reminds me of childhood. Remember hanging with Mr. Cooper, the little boy Tyler. I think he wore a lot of hill figure and polo. This reminds me of those days, man. Childhood. Mm. Two, three, four. So that's four rugby them. Another solid joint. Now this one. All right, solid red. Um, light red. I don't know what you want to call that color. Um, nothing on the back, but peep the shoulders. So the, the shoulders are kind of um padded. I forget. I forget what to call this. Um. Anyway, I won't waste time trying to figure that out. But anyway, that's that's another rugby. One, two, three, four, five. I'm losing count. So that's that's five. Let's get the vest out of here. All right, number six. Ooh, I've 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 shown you this before, but we got a coat of arms right here and a chevron. That's classic, right? You gotta love chevrons. This joint is polo sport, and it actually says polo sport in the collar. It has a griffin in between polo and sport. I like, I like details like that. Nothing on the back. Man, nothing on the back. This is a nice rugby. All right, did we say, did we say that's number six? And this is a, this is a small. This is big for a small, but again, I don't mind because I'll throw it over top of something. And if I really get sick of it, then I'll, um, I'll just take it in because I still, I still play with that sewing machine. All right, another one. This right here is straight, is, is, is just straight classic. Again, reminds me of my childhood. We got red, blue, and brown. I like this. And this is another, yet another feel. So we had that real soft feel. Um, then we had that stiff cotton. And this kind of reminds me of, um, is, this, is this cotton? Oh, see, no wonder. So this is 13% acrylic. So this is not 100% cotton, which is why this, this feels a little... Anyway, we're getting to that. It kind of reminds me of felt. We talk about that another day. This joint right here, again, you know, another one of my examples of flexibility. I went ahead and snatched up the joint with the number nine. Um, I don't love patches in general, but I love the texture of this patch. This black here is actually faded. And something about that I just love. All right, so, and this one is the rugby brand. I was afraid to buy the rugby small because I have a small rugby jacket and it's tight on my arm. So I didn't know, but this fits well. Obviously, um, these cotton sleeves are going to stretch different than, you know, um, a rain jacket. Nothing on the back. Um, some, some zigzag stitching, some diamond stitching. Another polo sport with that, um, that griffin on the collar. All right. And this one right here, which 
I've been talking about how I actually thought it was kids at one point. I doubt it though because it's a small. So a small children's shirt wouldn't fit me. Like I'm kind of, I'm not like a tiny guy. I'm small, but I'm like, you know. So a small children's would not fit me. So anyway, you know, it doesn't matter. It's mine. I'm keeping it. And it's just it's just the blue and yellow with the white. I throw a, um, a, a bright yellow vest over it. Then we got, oh man, we're going to run out of time. The solid blue with the quilted shoulders, right? Nothing on the back, just, you know, a quilt, quilted back. Um, and then we got these elbow patches, the blue and white. This reminds me of like the Beagle Boys. And some trivia for you. When I say Beagle Boys, what am I referring to? It's the blue and white rugby stripe joint. This one, this on some Burton and Ernie. This on some Burton and Ernie. Again, like hanging with Mr. Cooper, Tyler. Green, red, blue. Straight RL. You've seen this before, but it's one of my favorites. And this is also a custom fit. I try to go custom. I try to go custom when possible. And then here. The gray and blue, I don't think you've seen this before. This doesn't seem to be 100% cotton either. Let me see, right, 85% cotton, 15 acrylic. So you could tell when you feel them. There's nothing wrong with that, it's just my little twist is grabbing all cotton. But it's a nice, um, it's a nice rugby. I've, I've uh, worn it a few times. Again, like some patches and everything, but I'm, I'm cool with it, yo. And I like the fact that this thing is kind of faded. I don't know if it came that way or what, but this will look great as it fades and breaks in more. Anyway, how many rugbies? I got to go one, two, three. I ran out of time, but let's get a quick count off before I bounce, man. How to build the RL collection. Rugbies, the bread and butter. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Yes, yes, that is the growing rugby collection i appreciate y'all watching don't forget american layers is a conversation about building the dopest rl collection ever subscribe and hit the notification so you don't miss out on that conversation i appreciate you we're gonna keep growing this thing and um y'all keep watching i'm out